Well, he loved fishing, and um, he was out fishing yesterday with a friend, and we're not sure exactly what happened to put him in the water, um, but he could swim. Friends and family of Philip Accord are remembering his life and legacy. This is the Ware Branch boat ramp, where the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office says that Accord and his friend left from on Monday. The HCSO says that they believe that Accord fell into the water around 12.30 p.m. that day, and then the TWRA says that divers recovered his body later Monday evening. He was doing something he loved, and so that's what um, brings me a little comfort. A mentor and a friend. That's how Katie Harbison, the current CEO and president of the Chamberlain Center for Children, describes Philip Accord. He was a, a great storyteller. Um, when he started a story, you knew you were going to be around for a while because he liked to tell all the details of the story. So we joked with him about that. But he was a funny person. He was a kind-hearted person. He, um, he cares for all God's creatures, not just children. The Chamberlain Center offers child care and residential and learning programs for children in the foster care system. So what he was able to do through um, his innovation and his um, willingness to try new things and say yes and um, to think out of the box it was just incredible. He continued to visit the center and care for the people there after he retired. Harbison says he was just at the center this past weekend feeding cats outside the building. Countless comments on social media described the impact that Accord had on the community, many calling him a quote, true servant of Christ, leader and child welfare warrior. Jesse Young commented, quote, I'm a better man because of Mr. Phil. He really brought this organization to be the large nonprofit that it is today. And um, the work we do in the community would not be happening without the leadership and the insight and the knowledge that he poured into this place for 50 years. While the community remembers Accord's lasting impact on our area, the TWRA continues to investigate the circumstances leading to his death at Ware Branch. In Birchwood, Maggie Weaver, News Channel 9. Thanks for watching News Channel 9. And for more great local coverage, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. News Channel 9, depend on us.